Okay, first, I'm going to read. I think this is a disclaimer. The Devil Beside Me, All Rights Reserved, Copyright 2015, E.J. Wyatt. I think it's the right pronunciation. Okay. This book may not be reproduced, transmitted, or stored in, a, in whole or in part by any means, including graphic, electronic, or mechanical, without the express written consent of the author, except in the case of fair use, brief quotations, and critical articles and reviews. So what I will do is uh, follow the brief quotations, critical articles, and reviews. So it's like a review book. It's like I'm reviewing it, but uh, of course I cannot read everything, right? The author of this book and any associated affiliates and subsidiaries does not dispense medical or legal advice or prescribe the use of any information or technique as a form of treatment for physical, emotional, mental, legal, or medical problems without the advice of a licensed professional, physician, or attorney, either directly or indirectly. The intent of the author is only to offer information of a general nature to help you in your journey toward knowledge and overall well-being. In the event you use the information in this book for yourself, the author, publisher, and any and all affiliates and subsidiary parties assume no responsibility for your actions. The resemblance of any character, characters, or groups of characters to any person or groups of persons, living or dead, <coughs> excuse me, is purely co conditional. Neither the author, publisher, affiliates, subsidiaries, nor any of their employees, associates, partners, and or relatives assumes any legal liability or responsibility for the accuracy, completeness, usefulness, or prior knowledge of any information disclosed herein. <coughs> okay, from this quote from Nikola Tesla. If you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. Does this ring a bell to you, targeted individuals? Hmm. Interesting. In Revelations 12, 7 to 9, chapter 12, 7 to 9, And there was war in heaven, Michael and his angels waging war with the dragon. The dragon is in, and his angels waged war, and they were not strong enough, and there was no longer a place found for them in heaven. And the great dragon was thrown down, the serpent of old, who is called the devil and Satan, who deceives the whole world. He was thrown down to the earth, and his angels were thrown down with him. We live in a very strange world. Introduction. It gets no stranger than when you realize that everything you've ever been told about reality is wrong. My journey began four years ago. I had my feet planted firmly on the path leading me to a truth that affects every person on this planet, and most uh, aren't aware of it. I wasn't aware of it myself until after years of harassment and the subsequent research that led me to the conclusions I came to and the ultimate solution to this problem. As I told you, I don't promise any solution, but this is... Uh, this is what the author wrote, right? Although I had a busy life with work, family, and friends as most do, the flexibility of my schedule allowed me the time for interviews and research, poring over books, and articles are today while testing my hypothesis about this strange phenomenon. The interviews I conducted with selected people who shall remain anonymous, who helped affirm my ultimate conclusion, if you are committed to stopping this problem, the vital thing to do is first open your mind to any possibility. You are not going to read this information concerning gang stalking in any other book as of the date of this publication. I expect large amounts of opposition to the context of this book. There will be the inevitable scoffers, shields, close-minded skeptics, and even harassers themselves. 
writing biased reviews in an attempt to discredit the contents of this book. The contents of this book, I'm sorry. I'm ready for them. Through my trials, a warrior was born. I have no fear of ridicule or derision. I have no fear of pain or even of death anymore. I have written this under a pseudonym because I have family and friends who were targeted as well. My pseudonym may be a small attempt of protection, but it's the best solution I have while still getting the truth out. My only job in this life is to share what I have learned with others so they can be free. The monsters who spent years trying to break me down only made me fearless and for that I thank them. After my discoveries, I tested public reaction to the truths I had found by posting in internet forums and discussing my hypothesis with other victims and I received positive positive feedback from people who had come to similar conclusions. I also received extremely negative feedback of a distinctly personal and emotionally charged nature. I was called crazy, schizophrenic, paranoid, delusional, and multiple swear words. Does this ring a bell, targeted individual? I surely believe so. Okay, back to the reading. Why would total strangers, strangers be so angry at what I have to say? Because what I have to say is a truth that has been hidden for so long. That if revealed to the population at large would shake the very foundation of our society. And the people who knows this truth won't be able to hide any longer. They won't be able to control our world from the shadows if we shine a light on them. The truth light of a people, the true light of a people who want our freedom and to control our own destiny. This is very true, right? I will be briefly discussing theoretical and quantum physics in this book, although I have no claims of being a scientist. I firmly believe that mainstream science has a long way to travel before it gets to the truth of our world and to see beyond the veil of what is known as reality is a gift that has yet to be explained adequately in the labs and halls of academia. I will also be discussing religious and spiritual ideas, although I'm not a member of any religion. In my opinion, many spiritual ideas are simply truths built in metaphorical language waiting to be di discovered. It is through the, the examination of both spiritual and scientific concepts along with observation, external verification that I have made a working Hypothesis. You have to open your mind as far as it will go if you want to get your life back. Once you have this information, you will be able to conduct your own verifications as well. Be your own scientist. With the world as your subject, you will be able to see what I have told you for yourself. With your own eyes, then you will have the truth. And at that point, you will be a fully empowered person, what you were born to be instead of a victim. Okay, the name of the author after that. And this, uh, he called Sun Zhu. Chapter 1, The Calculations. Know thy enemy and know yourself. In a hundred battles, you will never be defeated. Over the course of the past four years, I have stopped. I have talked, not stopped, okay? I have talked to people across the United States who have been victims of what seems to be a senseless crime upon humanity. Gang stalking. These people come from all walks of life, housewives, entrepreneurs, doctors, lawyers, artists. It was through this journey that I discovered a common thread to all the first-hand testimony I have heard. Conversations usually ending in tears of relief from the interview inspired by the fact that someone finally not only believed them, but understood. I had my own reasons for this journey. I was one of them too. I was determined to find a way to stop the madness, stop the continual encroachment upon the sanctity and sanity of my home, job, personal life, health, and happiness, my, fi my final destination. A chance meeting with a man who gave me the information I needed to form a concise hypothesis 
for not just an answer but a solution that worked to stop the problem for good. Okay.